it's good to uh, good to be back. Let me just say, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed their their, their Christmas holidays and, and and want people to enjoy the rest of their holiday of the holiday season. Uh, the six years that I've been in office, every year right around this time, uh, we start dealing with a lot of fireworks, uh, even on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Christmas night. I would tell you, I was at home with COVID. But uh, COVID or no COVID, uh, the fireworks were all around. And, uh, and so that was taking place. And, and then, of course, now uh, Friday will be New Year's Eve. And if the trend if continues as it has been, uh, there will be a lot of people that would be using fireworks inside the city of Houston. And then there were a lot of people who will be uh, shooting their guns illegally. Uh, that, and, and I want to emphasize uh, neither one of those activities, uh, neither one is, is a legal activity inside the city of Houston. And so we wanted to hold this press conference uh, today uh, to emphasize that New Year's Eve is Friday night. We're all looking forward to the tradition of ringing in the new year with family members and friends. But some people will make the bad decision, and I want to underscore bad decision, to celebrate by firing guns into the air or setting off fireworks. I want to remind everyone uh, that the possession and use of fireworks is illegal uh, in the city of Houston, and it is illegal and dangerous to fire a gun in the air. I, I know I saw Arturo Michelle, who's the city legal attorney, who is also present today, and just wanted to talk with him uh, early this morning, uh, just to kind of to, to verify. Um, but it is clear the use of fireworks in the city of Houston is an illegal activity. And firing guns uh, in the air in the city of Houston is an illegal activity. Uh, I, want us to, I want to show a short video to illustrate just how serious the problem is uh, in our city. <laughs> Twenty twenty one began with a bang in Houston, but not from just fireworks. Houston police say an eight year old boy was shot in the hand while sleeping in his bed. Elgin Freeman is in the hospital tonight. Celebratory gunfire the cause for his visit, a bullet coming through his bedroom wall just before midnight. Freeman is one of two victims of celebratory gunfire during last night's festivities. A twenty four year old woman was hit in the stomach at a gathering about fifteen minutes away. Fortunately, those shootings weren't deadly, but celebratory gunfire ended beloved nurse Philippa Ashford's life last New Year's Eve and remains a problem year after year. It's what local leaders warn us about every New Year's Eve, the dangers of celebratory gunfire. This is a problem, folks, we see every New Year's Eve in Houston, and it is not addressed in any laws in Texas. If you see right here on my head, this is a scar that I have. Even state legislator Mondo Martinez, who got shot in the head by random gunfire a few New Year's Eves ago, hasn't been able to get it passed. Okay, that lets you know <clears throat> the seriousness of, these, of this matter. Discharging firearms in Houston is a Class A misdemeanor, which is punishable by up to a year in jail or a $4,000 fine or both. For so one year in jail or $4,000 fine or both. And that's when you're shooting, uh, they say celebratory gunfire, but it's the illegal use of gun, guns and firing uh, in, in our city. And for, five, for the use, illegal use of fireworks in our city, the range of the fine can be anywhere from $500 to $2,000. Uh, let me just say that it's our intent to really crack down on the use of fireworks in our city and this illegal gun firing in our city. Not only is it dangerous, but it also pulls our officers away from calls of the our fire officers, our firefighters away from calls that are desperately needed. Uh, so let me give a little perspective. Those are these are resources that are pulled away from call for service loop that could be used to responding to violent crimes such as robberies or home invasion. And also what goes up must come down, as you saw from State Representative Amanda Martinez. 
It will come down with force and velocity. So engaging in this dangerous behavior puts our neighborhoods, our friends, families, and especially our children at risk for a potentially tragic situation. I just want to sum up by saying this. We, uh, we work with the legislature to try to pass a bill uh, outlawing, uh, criminalizing even more celebratory gunfire uh, using State Representative Amanda Martinez. I know Bill Kelly and his team is also present. Um, we're going to be pushing that bill again in the next upcoming session because we really, really want to crack down, want to crack down on it. So I um, uh, wanted to have this press conference today to underscore, number one, um, you may purchase the fireworks, uh, but you need to use those fireworks outside of the city, not inside the city. That's number one. Number two, uh, you can have your guns. But shooting these guns, firing these guns, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, or even before, is illegal inside the city of Houston. A misdemeanor could get you one year in jail, $4,000 fine, or both. So as we approach the last days of the year, 2021, uh, let's do it responsibly. Uh, let's, uh, let's be safe, and let's make sure that we operate within the confines uh, of the law.